I noticed that many people ask me my, about my work, my passion and all my creative process so I think it was time to make a proper video and explain to you all the stuff I made during the day. Today is Monday so it's a bit boring day because I have to answer to some emails and close some brand collabs and making some plans for all the week so it's not exciting but we have to do this and yeah, here we go. Now, I have to do lots of stuff. I have to find some ideas to create some content for today's week on my Instagram. I have to try these new glasses. Here they are. This is a pretty good experiment I want to do. And today I also to move the gym. I go to gym since seven years, but I had to move for some reasons. So yeah, lots of stuff to do. Let's go. Tuesdays are usually dedicated to content creation. A little trick I've learned is to switch tasks as little as possible throughout the day. Constantly changing and shifting our focus is much more tiring. That's why I dedicated the entire day to shooting, allowing me to concentrate on framing the scenes without worrying about the entire creative process, which would be more difficult. To be honest, these are the days I enjoy the most. I love almost everything about my job, but the creative process is definitely the best part. I enjoy creating all kinds of content from videos and photos to digital designs, it's the act of creation that I truly love. On the other hand, I have a love and date relationship with the business side of things, I'm not fond of it but I'm also incredibly curious and eager to learn how to manage it. So it's 10 o'clock July 10 Wednesday and I forgot to make this video today because this morning was a bit frustrating, I had, I had to do lots of things related to the business. So, for example, this morning I had to call the assistance of my bank because I had a problem with some of my payments. And then I have to answer to lots of emails and closing the last collaborations in order to plan the next month. Because yes, we are in July, but we have to plan the other month, so we have to do July stuff and plan the next month. So this is my creative life. It's actually um, a lot of planning. There are a lot of stuff behind the proper creative process, we can say. And today was one of those days. Also, always this morning, I had to fix some cost issues because I noticed that I have too many expenses on things that I could avoid. So for this reason, for example, I changed all my link in bio that I previously paid an amount of 4 euros per month. So as you can see, working online and as a content creator especially isn't just making videos or spending hours into the beach and enjoying the life. And especially for someone who work alone, so I don't have a proper team at the moment at least, I'm actually working to find people because it's necessary. So as you can see, my days are making videos, finding ideas, but also thinking about all the business taxes, emails, collaboration and so on. But to be honest with you, it's probably also the reason why I make this job. I make 
a lot of different stuff during the day so it's quite impossible to be bored yes of course i don't make always things that i like but totally i make different stuff and for me this is really inspiring you can learn a lot of stuff from this work because you have for example to talk with brands managing a, an entire business because if you have a problem you are you and you something i usually do is making a little walk from my studio to my house for lunch so in this way i can walk a lot because i spend a lot of time sitting so it's the best way just to say this is how hot it is in my city so this is your sign to start walking As you can see, today we are in a pretty different setting. I'm actually making a free reels for Cooksu. It's actually something a bit new for me because I used to make something in my studio with proper lightning. As I said yesterday, it's something that gives me inspiration to make different things every day. So yeah, this is the best part of my job. Today I spent the entire morning editing the initial part of this video and recording some voiceovers. Since I aim to finish the studio by the end of the summer, I'm currently designing the last room, which is the living room. At the moment there are a few items, but I have already made proper plans. I'm just waiting for a better time to spend money since I pay most of my annual taxes as a freelancer in July. In the meantime, I'm already using this room to have a dedicated and different place to plan my activities. I usually use a time blocking method where I locate specific blocks of time for tests before starting the actual work, I often make a to-do list to specify all the particular tasks I need to complete in that session. This helps me understand at the end of each session if I have completed everything I planned. Sundays are the days to finish the easier tasks. I try to not work on Sunday as resting can be even more productive, especially in the creative field. I usually dedicate more time to reading, meeting friends and doing things that are very different from my daily routine. Choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life. Many people are worried about the instability of being a freelancer, but even if sometimes can be difficult, it's something I love because it let me do what I love. To be honest, I strongly disagree with the opinion that work is something we have to do just to make a living. Considering that most of our life will be spent at work, if we don't like it, I just don't want to have that vision. I simply combine my life and my passion with my work. I know that not everyone can achieve this immediately, but I think it should be everyone say. Of course, it's not true that I always want to make a new video or come to the studio, but this is totally normal. But for sure, once we start doing something we love, everything is much better. So yeah, I wanted to share my story and show you a completely week in my life and I really hope that you can find inspiration from this video. And as always, wishing you the best, see you soon.